Hello, everybody. Welcome to Telly Talks, where we talk about life, growth, relationships, and all things in between. I have a very special, amazing inside, outside person on the show today. He is an actor known for his role on Insecure, Norman Towns. How are you guys doing? Thanks for hey, coming. Of course. of course. Thanks for having me. Okay. So for the people that don't watch Insecure, which is like mm. this much amount of people, <laughs> tell, <laughs> tell us about your journey and how you got to where you are today. Um, I started off in stand-up comedy, and then from stand-up comedy, I transitioned into acting and producing. Um, many years of hardships <laughs> and, and just kind of like beating that, you know, that craft. Um, things just kind of work out. God, faith, Amen. a lot of uh, in Jesus's name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot, every time. Yep, a lot of things just kind of added up and, and took place, but it all started from me knowing kind of what I wanted to do and just pursuing it, you know? Absolutely. I, and trust in the Lord and he will guide you to where you need to go. Mm -hmm, Let's mm -hmm. start there. Let me not start a sermon. <laughs> it's like, but <laughs> That's um, where no, I, I just think like faith is super important. Not even trying to be funny. Super important to have some type of re religious belief, whatever your mm -hmm. religion is, um, because I just feel like that just helps you in life in general, whether you don't know your purpose, you're in your purpose, you're leading towards your purpose, you you're know, right. to start off as a comedian and go into acting to mm -hmm. completely, I, I guess it kind of ties hand in hand though. Yeah, it does. It ties hand in hand. It's, it kind of goes together. I think one helps you with the other, but also like faith and just having a vision of what you want like it's like it's like this saying that i love where it's like buildings are built before they're built you know Absolutely. like you have to like see it before you could do it and uh they kind of go hand in hand but it works out absolutely like <laughs> it i works. i would more so if i was looking at you and being a judgmental person like i feel like every human being is are you in the judgmental world. person not a judgmental <laughs> no, no. like you know be judgmental you know, be judgmental you know i would i would not think you're a comedian like really? off that like you know cuz i just funny. feel like majority of comedians that I know are uh -huh. very like loud and like, yeah. you know, loud and not just loud, like vocally loud, but loud in their attire and loud in like their approach, their deliverance. Yeah. And I just feel like you're just not like a super loud person. I'm not a super loud person, no. You're not. Yeah, I'm not. And I just <laughs> really don't, and, and, super... and I don't know. I feel like when, this is my judgment, uh -huh. like comedians, <laughs> are usually like, you know, you have Bernie Mac, you have yeah. Cedric the Entertainer, mm -hmm. you have um, D.L. Hughley, you have Michael Blackston, yeah. all like loud in their different, whether it's their clothing, whether it's their deliverance, whether they're, they're performing. it's their demeanor, whether yeah. it's how they perform their comedy, it's just like, like a, a or their approach is just like a, a loudness or like a, ah. like, look at me, I'm here. Like yeah. not even necessarily like vocal, but it's just like just their, their energy is yes, like super it's loud. Like, it's yeah, like it's prominent. See me, see yes, me. Yeah. yes. Where I could see you more as like, like an actor that's just like super deep into his role, yeah. or like just you know just more of like a deeper than a like a, a projector. You're right. Yeah. Well, I guess I have that duality, but I'm not. I'm not a super loud person. I'm not At like. All. Ah, yeah. You know? So okay, what <laughs> made you transition from comedy to acting and producing? I, I loved stand up. Stand up was really fun for me. Um, deep down, I always wanted to like, like go towards acting, but comedy was just like a good transition for me. And it also like gave me time to like hone like skills or just hone that craft of being able to, you know, speak in front of people. Like it just, it kind of just went hand in hand. It just kind of like fell into place. You know, it was just one of those things where like, at first, stand up was like everything to me and just putting in that work. And then it just kind of just, I was like, oh, acting's pretty fun. This is really cool. That you know? is amazing. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like switching from something that you know to something that's mm. more, you know, rehearsed or you have scripts yeah. and instead of like, you know, I feel like all comedians either tell their own story or yeah. experience a story to tell. Yeah, and um, I'm not a comedian, so who am I to be like? Oh yeah, You're comedians funny. do this. <laughs> I like to think that I'm funny. You know, <laughs> I like to be like, oh yeah, she's hilarious here and there, or maybe she shouldn't try to be funny. You know, <laughs> sometimes, <Like a> baby. <laughs> sometimes I think I'm funny, but you know, everybody has different, I guess, 
uh, perspectives of comedy. Yeah. You know, like yeah. ha- that's a just a tough job to be right. like a comedian. And I, I feel like and even in genres of acting, there's so many different genres. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually did a skit not too long ago. Did and you? I did. And we did a parody of a parody, which a was parody a, of a parody, parody of Scary Movie, but it was like our own parody of Scary Movie. So, <laughs> okay. and it was crazy because I don't dance and we was Lil' Kim shaking or whatever that move is what Lil' Kim does. Don't know what it's called, but clearly I don't dance. Um, but it was, it was, <laughs> It was fun. Like I had a good time and I and it was like a scary almost like I'm playing a scary movie, but it's like a funny scary movie. And I was like, I'm so confused right now. And I overanalyze things. I don't know how when you act. I guess that's <laughs> going into my next question. Nah. When you act, do We're you still like, a scary think movie of, period? Yeah, like do you think of like how you're gonna perform your role? Like, do you turn into that character? Like, do you over, I overanalyze. So it's like, do you overanalyze that character before you're like, all right, I'm this person, I'm him. I'm becoming who this person is for this role. I think um, it takes time to get out of like how you see yourself in your own way Mm -hmm. and to be a vessel. Because like, especially when you start diving deep into a character or into a role, you want to give it like life. Like you want to, you're you're blank you're like a blank canvas but it's like you want to bring this character to life absolutely and you're not even thinking about yourself anymore so it's like i just want to do a really good job and portray whoever i'm portraying the best way possible or the best way for the writers but it's hard though do you ever feel like you're too invested in that role where you're like more that person than yourself after that role is completed i think it can happen um, and there's some people, I think everybody kind of has like different methods for what works for them. For me, like the, the understanding, like the psychology of it, like that's big for me. Like I have to understand like what makes this person tick or why this, and that's probably right. why I like really enjoy acting. Cause I get to figure out like what makes you, you, you know, like, right. and I love that. And I think that that's what I bring to like anything that I'm playing, it's like figuring out like, why does this person like what they like? Or why is this their favorite color? And just diving deep into it is what I love. And I think that that's something that like, I try to bring into every character, just understand it. Cause we're also layered as people, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. Hey guys, this episode is sponsored by Fashion Nova. If you want an affordable matching set or any outfit that is amazing for night or day, make sure you shop fashionnova.com or visit them at Fashion Nova on Instagram. Would you, cause I know there's some like actors that wouldn't do certain things. What huh. are some things in acting that you wouldn't necessarily what, what do? What would they do? <laughs> like, you know, some, some <laughs> people like, don't do scary they do? movies cause right? they don't want to have that like mentality of like that, like, uh, I don't know, like just being in that, I don't know, demonic uh, yeah. situation or, mm-hmm. you know, have that energy in their life or, you know, like kind of like how um, the Joker, you know, yeah. he was so yeah. invested yeah. in that character yeah, he that he couldn't like, or yeah. when, um, Tar- was it Terrence Howard or Cuba Gooding Jr. played OJ? Who played OJ? Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba. Mm-hmm. Like he couldn't get out of that OJ phase, you know, yeah, where it was, it was like, yeah, so that type of stuff. Like, you know, some, certain people won't get into it because they know what they can bring out of it from from themselves. Yeah, and, and that's like hard because I think even like be, like the competitive nature of us wants a challenge and we feel like, sometimes like if it's challenging i want to go towards it right. because like it's it's hard and you can kind of get stuck but i think when i'm looking at anything it's always like if i could bring it to life and if i could do that job you know i kind of right. look at it like and most of the time i feel like i can but it's just more so like okay can i bring life to this character this person you know absolutely do you have like a particular when you go through scripts or when you go through different roles that are Mm -hmm. up and coming do you have a particular role that you tend to like all right i know i could play this role or i don't want to do this role um i haven't i haven't 
It, it depends. Like if if I if I read the script and I didn't, I wasn't in love with it. I probably would be like, you know what, I don't. The whole script in its the entire, whole script not entire, just your not part, not just my part. Yeah, the whole script. Because like that's the thing too when when it comes to like acting. Like there's so many elements, especially film acting. There's so many elements as far as how it looks, as far as the director, the DP, that like there's so many things that go into it, but. If, if I read the character and I'm looking at the story, cause see, even being an actor, you're in a story, you know, right. and you want to do it justice. So I think sometimes early on, if you look at it, it's just, it's all about you, you know, it kind of doesn't go the best, but if you look at the bigger picture and you see the whole thing, you're like, okay, this makes sense. Or I fit in this puzzle piece. Cause it's a big puzzle, Absolutely. right? It's like, if you're really close, it's like, I see Telly. Then I'm like, oh, Telly is in dad. You right see Telly, dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you back up, yeah, you're, like, yeah. you're in LA. So like just being able to t step back and see everything clearly or the landscape, then you're like, okay, like this makes sense. Or I can, you know, add a piece. Cause it's definitely like a team. It's not like an individual Sport, thing. yeah, right, it's not right, an individual right. sport. Absolutely, you know? I, that's a good way to put it and yeah. see it because everyone has different perspectives, and to just see something that's this small when it could be this yeah, big, it's just big, that it's amazing. Yeah, you have lace on yeah. AM, AMC, AMC, it's all black. Yeah, all black cast. Uh, not all black cast. It's it's under it's under it's. It's on AMC under a network called All, all Black. Black. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I thought yeah. you meant like an all black cast. Okay. Yeah. So Lace, AMC, talk about your role and what you're doing. It's cool. I play this this guy named Gideon Stone. He's a lawyer. Went to, he went to- uh, I can see you as a lawyer. You can see me as a lawyer. I can I've see been you a with lawyer a suit a few on, times. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, I can yeah. see him with a suit on. <laughs> yeah. So he went to Harvard. Um, he's, he's pretty conflicted. He kind of, you know, it's a- I'm trying to envision you as a lawyer. I went to Harvard. I could see it. Okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. Interested. Uh, without giving like so much of it away, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's 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 super interesting. I, I like the writers. I think they did a really good job. And this is on AMC. Is really cool. Yeah. Okay. On so, all black. On all AMC. Black, yeah. Okay. And this started when. This is a second season. So. Okay. And you're on the first season. Nah, the second season. Okay, this so is my first just season. Got, yeah. Okay. So we're filming now. Yeah. Okay, and you're filming the second season now, so yeah, it's not first, out yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. Oh, exciting! So you're coming in defending someone that's done uh, yeah, some crazy yeah. something crazy. Oh yeah, see, <laughs> <laughs> these are these shows. Oh, I'm excited. These are these shows. I'm excited. So, so tune, fun. you guys, tune into Lace that's on really AMC nice. All Black, featuring my man, not Me. my man, but my <laughs> homie. For people that <laughs> overanalyze the Norman Towns on um, Lace. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah, it's, it's fun. And I'm I'm wondering and curious as to what like you're defending and what like you know what this person did and how are you gonna get him or her out of it? <laughs> it's like I can't say too you much. You gonna see? You gonna see? Watch it. Okay. You gotta watch it. Tuning in. And when does that come out? I'm not sure when it comes out. I need it. I should find. You guys, that did out. you guys just start filming for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So we're filming now. So we finish in like January. Okay, cool. So that's so. probably like, my birthday's in January. Uh-oh, so early January, late January? Late, the 24th. Okay, so not a Capricorn, but- uh, Aquarius. Aquarius, yeah, right, right like, after. Right Aquarius. after. <laughs> right Let's after. Go. Okay, so you have a show coming out. Uh, Insecure is completely over. How do you feel about that? That was such a good show and such a good a staple. Good, yes. Um, I liked it. I, I, like, how I feel about that is is it was dope. The the cast was great. The experience was amazing. And I would like I'm excited to see the future of that opening up the doors and giving more people opportunities. Absolutely. Because there's so many talented people out here. There's it's just so much. But being able to make that table longer and give people opportunities to showcase their talent was really cool to see. And um, it was really inspiring. And I was super happy to be a part of that. I'm so glad you're a part of such like an epic journey right. of that show. And it, I wish it didn't end when right. it ended. And it, um, ended. It, it was just well written, well done, yeah. very relatable. Just a great show. Really good. All right. As you know. 
Uh oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I will find out, right? <laughs> yeah, as you well, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get to the game, but relationships uh, before we get yeah. to the game, relationships. We're gonna uh, talk about relationships in one, not in one. Okay. Looking okay. where you at in life with your relationship status. I'm happy. I'm not in a relationship right now, but I'm really happy. So you're dating happy or dating are you happy, single but happy? like dating happy, gearing but I'm towards happy. relationship happy. I wouldn't even know if it's gearing towards relationship <laughs> happy. I, I'm just happy, right? Like I'm in a good happy alone or happy with someone going towards a relationship. These are some. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just don't know. <laughs> he don't want to share. No, 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 no. But, but no, I'm. I'm really. I'm really like. I'm in a good place. Like even mentally. That's um, that's where it starts. Though that's I feel where like it starts. you have to be happy within yourself. Yeah. To bring that energy to somebody else. So you do. Hundred and ten percent. It's good to start at your own personal happiness, so you can bring Very that happiness true. to someone that's happy too, and you guys could just. Yeah. Grow happy. Be happy together. together. I mean, there's gonna be challenges, but at least, you know, like I'm in That's a good life. I'm in a good place though. Life is challenging. Yeah, Relationships right? are a lot challenging. Of people ain't happy. Yeah, it's Kids all challenging. Are challenging. Right? Jobs are challenging. <laughs> Podcast all, is challenging. Right? <laughs> Everything is challenging. It's it's challenging. What makes it life if it's not challenging? I feel like if there wasn't a challenge, things would just be like boring and dull and not like colorful and just You're right. You know, it wouldn't be life. And it no, would just be like, who who wants to just sit and like not have anything happen and not have any excitement, whether it's excitement, whether it's pain, whether it's hardship, whether it's good times or there's bad times, yeah. like those bad times wouldn't be bad if you didn't have the good. So I just feel like it works hand in hand and it's just uh, a part of life. Yeah. You know, so. You're happy. I like. I'm good with happy. Re I'm, I'm good with happy. Good with Some happy. people aren't happy. I've been no. in relationships where I wasn't happy. Hundred and ten percent. Hundred and ten percent. I've been in a lot of situations where it was like just being happy or fulfilled or just making the most of of situations. Ab but absolutely. Like happiness is a good place to be. Right. Hundred and ten percent. A lot of people wish and pray for happiness. So yeah, I value it because I know how it feels to not be happy. So like yeah. when I'm happy, I'm like, yo, I'm happy. Yeah, you no, know? you like, came I'm in. in I was good, like, oh, his spirit is happy. Place. He's yeah. positive. He's good. He's good chilling. Place. He's not angry. Like he's in a good place. And you could see that it Rich. projects when people are happy. You could see the happiness. <laughs> yeah, you can see like, what people you can see are. The projection. Huh? Like, <laughs> it's not like, dang, well, how yeah, was their day? Know, yeah. They went through something today where you're just like, well, let me not say nothing, right? you know? No, so you right. definitely could see it. You're right. Definitely. Well, I feel it. All right. I'm happy. The fun part. What are we doing? What Pick we... your poison, bad choices, so we can get to know you outside of the characters okay. that you yeah, play on so TV. So this is like who you really social are. Social media. Who is Norman Towns when it comes to a game of would you rather picking your poison or having bad choices in your life? What okay. do you prefer? Can we do one of each or is that not possible? Yes, we could do two of each. Oh, okay, each. okay, we okay. Or, we'll start to. with the pick your poison. Yeah, okay. I do. I'll, we'll both do the pick your poison. All right. And then less. we can jump to the bad choices. That way. All right, let's we do can it. See I've both. never had someone pick two. Really? Like, see, no. I'm, I usually I have think to like, outside offer. The box. I love it. Love it. Okay. So two pick your poisons, you said? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do. Yeah, you got to bet them out. You got to bet them out, though. Huh? You got to, yeah, you bet them out before you bring it to okay. me. Bet them out and make sure they're I good. I mean, they're, they're, they're they? decent. They're not like crazy, but it's. Oh, it's, get some crazy. Get, give me some good crazier? ones. You want crazier? Well, give me some good ones. Okay, we'll because start it's off like, light. Man. We'll start off light. This is light. All right. This is, this is giving you. Yeah, this is very light. We'll go from like small, light? medium okay, to okay. light. All right. Sheesh. This is why you do okay. this to me. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so you pick your right. two. I'm playing with you. Uh, I, I know. So you that are. way you're not, you know. We got to get to know you too. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure so they know two. all of the nasty, crazy. <laughs> we got to get all of you things too. about me by now. <laughs> okay. And then you take one of these, right? Yes. So okay. we'll start with which one you want to start with. Uh, pick your poison. So All how right, do we do this do again? So so we're asking this card or that card. Okay. And the rules are, you can't remix your answer. You can give an explanation, but you can't change the options. Got you. I'm All ready. right, ready? Should I look at mine now too? You, or? you go for it. I mean, we all gotta pick a poison sometime, sooner or later. All right. 
Would you rather eat a cigarette buds from a public ashtray mm -hmm. or take five shots of tequila every morning at breakfast? So eat cigarette buds from a public ashtray or five shots of tequila every morning for breakfast. Do you drink? Uh, rarely, but I think I it would be. I would do the tequila. You, you can give your explanation too. So uh, I to just why. think life would be really fun. I think <laughs> I would have a lot of good stories. Do you think you'd be able to work? Um. <laughs> See, hey, if I had five <laughs> shots of tequila, you don't got to work, right? <laughs> you don't, uh, I'd be right outside here point. screaming through the windows like, ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have the best stories, it. but the cigarette, I, it'd probably be one and done. But the tequila, oh, yeah. yeah five shots and I... just record me. Yeah, <laughs> we we got a new show. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel. Hilarious. New show. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, I agree. Is, I can do the cigarette. I'll pick. Yeah, this one is. I kind of want to do two different cards for this because this one is like Go obvious for what it. you would do. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it's like, do you want to do this or this? Let me see. Okay. I got a good one for you. All right. These ones are way better. Okay. All right. Would you rather vomit every time you orgasm or have a stranger wipe your butt after every poop? <sighs> like, you really... And look, this is the thing about this. You really want to be honest <laughs> because a stranger, this is a different person after every time you poop. And you okay. might know them. Like, I have right? a logical and this is answer honest. for this, guys. In pure honesty, sorry, babe, I love you to death and you know I love you, but... I, <laughs> you had to get the explanation. I had, to give, I had to get that out there first. I love my man uh -huh. to death, but... I would rather have a stranger wipe my ass only for the simple fact that what was the other option? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, you what was the other option? You done forgot your own train the of thought. The other option like, was I worse. Would, uh, I know that. Uh, you, the other you option was a long what was the forgot the whole question? Because I right. was like, no, nah, I don't want my man to be thinking I'm just like out here just trying to have everybody wipe my ass. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not the vibe, and I wouldn't want that. But the, I would pick it. What was the other one? Because it was okay, worse. So, so no. It was definitely worse. Would you, okay. Vomit every time yes. you orgasm. Yes. That's why I said or sorry. Or have a stranger. Because I feel like if I'm in the bedroom with my man and after I have an orgasm, I'm throwing up and he hasn't orgasmed yet, that would just like be a turn off. So I wouldn't want to turn my man off by like yakking every time like it's almost like sex is disgusting that's how i would take it if someone was throwing up after they orgasm every time and i'd be like dang you're just disgusted by having sex with me so like i wouldn't want that for my spouse or for myself but you would want your spouse i would rather have every i would rather have someone wipe my spouse's ass or my ass stranger not i don't give a, a damn stranger. who it is wipe asses over throwing up when we when we make Man, love i'm telling you i just I'm as not soon as you finish using the bathroom and I you mean, see like, somebody come in there like this you know you'll be like I mean, no wait a minute it. why did i do this think about <laughs> it i don't know if i want to do this i i like, would watch rather that, Terry. i would <laughs> rather that and then you're not going to be i mean it's shit like it's not like it's attractive yeah, but this or is a strange like, no, this is a so strange you would rather throw up i'm just letting you know no what, this, what is, would this you, is a strange what would Jesus you can you do? can finish pooping and somebody's like watch out telly i gotta wipe your ass like, be like and you gotta be like okay hey, you go ain't gonna it. be like that no you're not I'd be like go for it because you ain't gonna, gonna uh, be there uh, long you ain't gonna yeah huh? did you, you let any of them wipe your long. ass right now look at them they would be I mean, wiping your ass sorry y'all but uh, here no no <laughs> I would rather you would do not that. let none of these people wipe Bro, your ass. I'm telling you, I would rather do that. Look, vomiting, at least it's private. This is what somebody but loves, everyone knows you care about. Shit. Nobody would know. Everyone Nobody knows would know you, you vomiting after you orgasm. Your, your person would know. My yeah, man but, would but, know. But, and but, then it would but, turn him off. And then he's yeah. not going to want to have sex with me anymore. But see, at least you know him. They, You guys love each other. 
What would this y'all is, do? Would y'all? That's love. Would y'all orgasm? My girl and better throw love up? my vomit. I'll be like, yo, just clean it up. So, so <laughs> like, you gonna vomit? I'm not gonna have no strangers <laughs> wipe my ass. Like a stranger. You see what I'm saying? This ain't somebody you know. It's shit though. It's not like yeah, they're but like, this is a stranger. It's not like they're gonna be attracted to you. Somebody's gonna be like, you don't believe this. What happened? I don't wipe Telly's ass. <laughs> I have no. <laughs> I don't wipe Telly's ass. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you see her. She was bad, I but mean, that'd be a, oh my God. <laughs> I just showed up and wiped that ass. Ain't nobody, look, that's not going to be. I would rather have my have, ass wiped I'm telling than you, to throw you up have, when I'm having sex. You're going to have about 40 time. people on blog sites talking about, you should have seen the shit that I had to go through. I don't wipe that ass. Hey. <laughs> and I ain't been the same. You better get sued. <laughs> get Why it. would I get sued for someone else wiping I'm, my ass? Because that's what's going to happen. But why would I get sued They're going to be that? like, I went to wipe her ass, and then all of a sudden, something got on my hand. <laughs> it never came off. I Like, it's just bound to happen. But, but well, strangers it's not like, are a stranger. But look, here's, okay, I get what you're man, saying. I rented out a car once, and I was like, okay, strangers are not the business, okay? I get what you're uh, saying, but I would, like, I mean, obviously, if that's the situation. I would have to be like, okay, look, I just boo-booed, and I am so sorry, but I need you to do me a favor and just, like, wipe my ass. Here's a non-disclosure that you need to sign to gonna, wipe my ass to <laughs> not see like, me. It, it would, was December 8th, it would definitely and, uh, I played be str- a game. I, would have I didn't a, think it would come real. I but. would have a strategy to the ass wiping <laughs> if I had, had to do it. Like, I would put a plan together. You know, I'm very strategic when I, it, I think like, you would vomit, honestly. I think after the, I mean, I might, the first three people But I'd rather vomit ass. with someone throwing up, I mean, like wiping my ass and while I'm having sex. I just, that's All just right. me. Okay. That's just me. <laughs> we, we agree <laughs> to disagree right on this one, but we're yeah. gonna soon as the cameras guys, cut off. Yeah, I have no idea what my ass. No, I, I just Go I ahead. personally I just like my man has like a crazy sex drive and I just would not like I wouldn't be able to please him if I'm throwing up I I just, I mean, like, yes, you love someone. You, I mean, I've thrown up in front of him before, obviously. Oh, but I mean, like, was every time bad? we have sex, like, it's disgusting to me no, when no, I have sex. No, it's not every sex. time you have like, sex. <laughs> it's every time you orgasm. Yeah, so every time I have sex. <laughs> but like, what I'm not- saying is, like, when you orgasm, you throw up. Yeah, that's even like I'm disgusted that I'm orgasm and my man's looking at me like, why are you disgusted when I'm pleasing you? Naturally, that's the thought that I get in my head and I know my spouse. We've been together long enough for me to know what he would like in the bed and what would I feel would turn him off. Because I know if you're throwing up, I'm be like, uh, that's not. But you don't got to cool. throw up in front of him. You could have sex. You could about to orgasm. You could turn, throw up, and then come right back. And then you come back, brush your teeth, and it's be like, like "Yeah, going I just to pee after sex. Like, it's like one of those things. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not. I'm just. He's like going to pee yeah. is one thing. Like that's I just, easy wipe. Go. You know, you don't got to get in the shower. You don't got to do the right. most. You know, like get a little wipe and get back in it. Cool, but the throwing up like that smell lingers. Even with shit lingers, but at least I ain't doing the wiping. I'm doing the shitting. So I'm like, I got to go. I'm human. You're human. You going to wipe my ass or not? Nah? What are we doing? On to the next person. You going to wipe my ass or not? Nah? <laughs> like somebody got to do it. None of y'all wiping it. <laughs> y'all know it. She ain't letting none of y'all wipe your ass and that ain't happening. But okay, what's my question? I ain't got my He's question. Like, <laughs> All right. My question. Uh, I just did this one. Okay. Oh, was, oh the, so bad what choices. are we on? Bad, bad choices. choices. Okay. Have you given out a fake phone number in the past year? And don't lie. A uh, fake? <laughs> I'm not 13. But <laughs> no, what if, you, what if you're not, not attracted to someone and be like. But see, that mm-hmm. would be more for you. Like, guys probably ask you for your number more than girls. It'd be like, can I get your number? Let me call it, you know? I haven't given out my, my number. But what if it's not a girl? What if it's like someone that is just like, oh, you're Norman. Like, can I get your number? I want to hang out and chill. Like, like you yo, know. follow me on IG. I'm going to hit you. True. I just. True. That's facts. I keep it real. No, <laughs> I keep facts, it 100. Facts, right? Facts. You be like, yo, just spot. Like, Nowadays, touch, no one's giving out their number. They're giving out their IG. Because you can see their whole sure. life literally, on IG. Literally. I'd rather see your There's, whole life. That's even no better. Li- well, you like, yeah. you, you, they could see what you choose to show. 
but is it's enough to show yeah. to get you to know like, that okay, person. Yeah, hundred. I agree. Like crazy. Agree. Hundred and ten percent agree yours. with you on that. One. Yours are all like okay. No, you, mine wasn't easy because we just had a whole debate on whether I should get my ass wiped or throw up an orgasm. So it can't be that easy. <laughs> Go ahead. Would you streak <laughs> naked up and down the street for $500? Hell See, no. this game don't know her. <laughs> That's the problem. No. This game is made for middle schoolers. 500 <laughs> is a life changer. But for you, it is like... 500, ah. not doing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> not doing it now 50 million i might do it for 50 million <laughs> one time hollywood uh, boulevard see this game ain't made it's 50 five million dollars, huh? i mean like come on now uh, 20 bucks 50 million one time see, i'm doing it whoever sorry, made babes, this game sorry dad sorry mom grandma all y'all family members y'all would do it too i'm sure my man would do it too 50 million what? Yeah, we're running naked together. <laughs> like I just feel so, like, uh, yeah, like, see, we're we're one. So is you doing it? Well, why not doing it for fifty million? You know, that's gonna be the conversation. Feel, yeah, <laughs> hey, whoever wrote bad to it, you gotta raise the price up on this. All right, like five dollars, <laughs> man. Five. Nobody's well. I would say <laughs> yeah, I nobody's said, well, doing it for five hundred dollars. No adult is doing it for five hundred dollars. Nobody was well, maybe nobody with stature or some type of like. I guess merit or or something going for themselves would for do 500. would risk all their body parts just for out $500. for five hundred dollars. Yeah, like on come now. on now. now. If I'm gonna risk it, because there's a price for everything. I feel like you there's always a feel like there's a price. Everything. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I, I genuinely now there's some things that there's not a price for. Like you're not gonna kill a family member for like fifty million. I wouldn't kill no family member for fifty million dollars because that's your family. But what about a mi a billion dollars? No, not my family. But I, would, it, it I wouldn't don't do be it for close no type family. Of, I wouldn't do it for no type of money yeah, at all. Because that's I just feel like your close family would see you what some if type it's of way. An enemy, somebody you don't like. I mean, there's people I don't like, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself knowing that I killed this person for a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> or fifty million dollars, or whatever. I'm talking whatever about somebody amount. you don't like, and you can get away with it, and they would never know. Oh, fam you but could, it has to be a family no, member. No, it don't got to be a family member. Oh well, if it's not a family member, then it's yeah, somebody that it's you a, know, though. Open that you know. Sorry, but you can don't live like with yourself you. knowing you kill anybody. That's no, what no, she said. it has to. That's it has to be like it has to be. It has to make this sense. Is I, a I Game wouldn't. of Thrones question right yeah, here. This I is you old Targaryen. I feel you like are. I wouldn't just be like, all right, boom, you're dead, whether I like you or not, because I would literally in my That's head have nightmares dollars. about it. A like, billion dollars. That would, I would question. Money cures every, hey, hey, I would money question. Can fix I'd be like, damn, I could get that bag real yeah. quick if I just Mate. off this person I don't really like. A billion dollars, though. But then you're in jail. No, no, then, you're not in jail. Oh, you you got away, away with it. You got away with it. A billion dollars. Someone I don't like, like genuinely How bad are those nightmares? Like? Telly, ask yourself, Shit. how bad are these nightmares ah. that you're having? Think about it. How bad are these nightmares? I mean, I might. What's, hey, you gonna deal with I'm some nightmares, right? It. Yeah, but <laughs> people, shit, you ain't gonna be. People got I nightmares for less. Sleep. I already don't yeah, sleep. Then you ain't gonna have no problem with no nightmares. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Uh, solutions. I, I, I feel like you would, if you're norms. gonna do something like the streaking, like I feel like, all right, cool, she's naked, whatever. Might be some pictures, might be on the blogs, whatever. But I could live with the fact, like, yeah, I got I streak for fifty million. But like I killed somebody for a billion dollars? That's a lot to live with. That's a hey, whole different hey, scenario. You can I say what you like want. I, huh? said, I control I might, the blogs right now. I then. might huh? think about it. A I might billion be like, dollars is, is a lot of money. And then I get away with it. A I'm billion gearing, dollars is a I'm is gearing a, towards more like, all right, fuck it, just do it. Than to be like, nah. You realistic. would do it. I think you would do it. I probably would. <laughs> I probably. That's why I said I'm gearing more towards the it. yes. You would do it. Now the repercussions behind uh, it. You I are, might you, not. Too I'm, late. I'm thinking about too the late. toleration of the repercussions that I'm just like, damn. Like, would I be able to sleep at night? Everybody knows I killed somebody because now I'm rich and I'm just like. Oh, now you feared in these streets. Now you got I respect. Think, I don't think people you got fear respect. Me. <laughs> you, you got respect. If I kill somebody, now they want to know how like, you killed them. That's what I'm saying. Now 
man. They got respect in the streets. <laughs> nah, we not out here like ghosts. <laughs> like we not out here <laughs> like <laughs> we not like power uh, out here. Uh, you know nah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they gonna be like, Telly uh, kills someone for money. Oh kissing. my gosh. Why? Why didn't like, I have what that now? opportunity? What now? <laughs> no, because they don't be like, yeah, I'm not just killing for shits and giggles. I'm killing for a bag. Now, at that point, they're like, oh, You're she's only going to kill for... No, you're not, he's like, you're a professional. <laughs> like, I'm not out here sniping people because uh, uh, I just uh, went off somebody I don't like and didn't get it. But no one knows. I got away That's with it. That's what I'm saying. Only so you know. They, so only so you're, how they see, fear you're me. worried about other people and what they think. All you no. got to do now is worry about what you think. Yeah, because I'm going to be thinking I kill someone every night. Okay. And <laughs> What's I, wrong with I got to live with myself with this. That's a lot to what? live with. That's a lot of burden. Like for that, like I might not like them, yeah, but what about you, their you mom? About and what about it. their dad? And what about their nah, you, kids? Nah, like, I'm gonna tell you what or, you would have done. You would have took that billion dollars. You would have had Telly snacks. You would have had Telly. <laughs> you would have had a microphone. You would have started. You would have went off the deep end. Cannot, you would have had. You would have had stuff that you never thought you would invest in I ever. Can, you would have had yes. a tire shop on La Brea and Pico. You would have <laughs> had everything. Why gotta be La Brea and Pico? Though? I don't know <laughs> because like, <laughs> everything else I want to say, you probably already got. So it's like, it has to be something like off the wall. Oh man, that's a tough one though. That like just the killing someone, even if I don't like, I, there's a lot there. I would say there's a lot. There's people that I don't like, but I just wouldn't like off them. And like, there's so many people dying. Like, yeah, the money mm -hmm. sounds good. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Like the money's like, damn, that's a bag. I could do a lot with that. I could do a lot with my kids for that. I could have financial security for whatever they want to do in life. And their kids is kids is kids. But knowing that that money came from a death is like. Sounds that sounds like the right thing to say. I mean, it is the right thing to say. <laughs> no, 110 percent the no, right no, thing no. to say. It is the right thing to now, say. Now, like, but, like I said, when you're in that situation in that and that situation, money's right in front of your face, you're you going to be like, hell yeah, I'm getting him off and I get away with it. 110 percent. But the aftermath that comes with that is kind of like, what do I do? How would I live with this? Like, do you think that the money is going to make you not forget or forget <clears throat> that completely? Me, it depends on how, because I feel like I would try to pretend like it never happened. But how? how do you <laughs> I don't know. You gonna act your way through it? Well, I would. I would have <laughs> just tried to like forget that it ever happened. Where I was like, that never. But what happened. if you can't forget? A billion dollars will really. I, I'll find some way to make me forget. <laughs> you gonna I'll do find it? Somebody did, but yeah, I'll find somebody. I heard that. I'm joking, guys. I know. I'm no, just, no, he's not. I'm joking. He's not. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> he's not joking. <laughs> it's real. It's we a just, real life we just situation. Joking. This ain't no real life. It, it, it's just it, a game. <laughs> you know. I honestly, honestly feel that like it. Majority of people, if it was in front of their face, like that's kind of like who wouldn't take the deal if yeah. you can't get away with it. Who wouldn't take the deal? But the aftermath yeah, is it will like eat you up. You well, like, Man. it will eat me up at least. Like you know, like even if I don't like the person, heart, like yeah, like any, yeah, I'll be like, damn, heart. like what about their mom? Now their mom looking at me in disgust. Their brothers, their sisters, their family, they and might, like, yeah. like come on now, that's just me. Even if I don't like you, all right, you can stay on this side of the room. I can stay on this side. We don't say they were eighty years old and they hated you. It still don't and deserve they, to die. Okay, ninety. They still don't deserve to die with like I now I'm playing God. Okay, okay. Now it's like, you know what I'm saying? All right. You know, this ain't even on the cards. <laughs> we should we should need to pick another card. We'd have made up our own bad right. choices because this choice wasn't good enough. So we made up our All right, own. one more pick your All poison right. and one more bad choice. All right, let's uh, do that's it. not bad. I, that's I need sad. some let's I need see, something a little bit more challenging. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one for later. This isn't that bad, but yeah, yeah, honey. It's um okay. I'm ready. I might have to change this one. Um. All right, I'm gonna ask this while I'm picking the next. All right. Would you rather get shot in both kneecaps? <laughs> Stop right there. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> both kneecaps or have a spider crawl in your ear and lay its eggs while you're sleeping. Spider could jump in my ear and lay the eggs while I'm sleeping. 
Really? Really? <laughs> I wouldn't want either one. Uh, but, but the you, kneecaps, I'm not getting the kneecaps. Yeah, I'm not getting shot at the kneecaps. That one was easy. Go ahead. Go again. Go again. Double you up. want me to go again? Yeah, All, right. All right. Let me see something that's tough. All right. All right. Would you rather mm -hmm. get robbed at gunpoint 5% of the time when you leave your house after dark? Okay, 5%? Me, let's hold make on, hold it on. 75%. Oh, see, okay, remix. Let's, let's we remix in the game. All right. I mean, we remix a joke. I know, questions. right? Poison Guard, the remix. All right. Ding, ding, ding. Or have a family member walk in on you peeing on your partner. <laughs> Family member walking in on me peeing on my partner. Why? Um, it wouldn't be that embarrassing to me. And it depends on who walked in. Like You're I'm trying to think. You're peeing on your partner I'm would not on, be embarrassing. I'm not getting peed on, but yeah. I'm peeing on my yeah, partner. Yeah, but that's degrading to your partner. But if she likes it, <laughs> it's, mm -hmm. hey, some people <laughs> like that, <laughs> right? No. Uh, I, okay. <laughs> let's ask the audience. I'm joking. He's like, yeah, no. <laughs> that's why you got to put comedian in your bio so you can say things like this. <laughs> so that's like, See what I'm saying? But it was like you gotta, comedian you be with like, like the ah, most ha, serious ha, face. Ha. Like, joking. okay, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a joke, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no, been no facts. <laughs> uh, the question was: uh, Would you I've rather pee or the? Uh, <laughs> you got to blame or, it on or the, the gunpoint. Yeah, I guess I'm. I'm okay, I'm I'd peeing, rather... and I'm having any one of my family members could walk in. He said anyone. Peeing. He said no shame in his game. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> nope. I heard that. <laughs> Which one would you pick? I mean, I ain't, I ain't getting robbed at no gunpoint. There you go. So you pee every time. So you pee. But am I am I actually getting robbed, or are they just attempting to rob? Oh, me? they robbing you. Oh no. Nah. I know. Yeah, they robbing you. <laughs> Don't know. <nah. laughs> They're not attempting. To rob. No. They robbing you. And, nah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna so, have to just pee real quick. There, that's what I'm saying. Ain't no shame just, in that. Just you know, I mean, I like, wouldn't. I would be ashamed if someone walked in, especially my family member walked. I would be like, oh my god, like, Listen, now you know my horrible. secret. That's it ain't not, even a secret no more because every time <laughs> they walk in, so you, after yeah, the first two times, they're gonna be like, you know what? Look, I played a game December eight. This happened. Now I'm peeing. Every time you're walking in, just deal with it. They're gonna be like, We get it, we get it. Tell these peeing again. <laughs> we get it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh yeah, it's a no for me. All right. Both. Whoever look, you know what? Whoever made these games, I need to Google them. Because <laughs> Tell them like, the prices. A lot of the, the things that they saying is like, hmm. Okay, have a sexless marriage or have the judge pee directly into your mouth. Who child? Um, Honestly, what was your first thought? My first thought is my man would not be able to have a sexless marriage is my first thought. My second thought is what judge would want? Is it I'm peeing in the mouth or is he peeing in my mouth or <clears throat> she or whatever it is? A, have the judge pee directly into your mouth. Oh, so they're peeing in my mouth. So I Is it a one-time thing or is this a continuous thing? That's what you got to think of. Maybe it's a one-time thing. Maybe they just pee in your mouth one time. Over, what's the other one? Have a sexist marriage. That is tough. Which one are you picking? I'm picking the sexless marriage, get a divorce, and then marry someone I could have sex with. Because it doesn't say That's how long honest. you have to stay married. Married. That's it doesn't honest. say that you have to, every time you get married, you have a sexless marriage. It just says yeah. get married. So that's my explanation. Okay. Get that's married. Good. If we're not having sex, get a divorce, find someone I can have sex with, and be married to someone I can be able to both get pleasure from, or both we both get pleasure from each other. That's my explanation.
Well, and I'm running with that one. <laughs> no no questions was, asked. Don't ask me no more questions after right, my answer. God damn it. You need to start judging people when they give the answers. Be like, <laughs> right. uh, uh, why? <laughs> why would you do judging. such a thing? Like, kind of yeah, like, wait, how, yeah, like, like wait, how you're doing on. me, right? That's He's what like you judging do? me every yeah. time. I'm like, yeah. Oh, that makes it interesting. Is Just that judge them. Like, oh my God. I didn't know Is you were it, like that. Right. Then they're like, wait, what? Is that bad to do that? Like, it makes you question your answer. Like, damn, did I answer? Are you sure? Yeah, you just gotta ask them twice. They're like, are you sure sure you want to do that? Like, that's that's (laughs) really what you stand for. Oh my god! All right, last last one. Yeah, bad choices. My last one. Yeah, bad choices. Nah, this one's. I know you like that. We gotta go. (laughs) You pick your. I know. Mm. The money, the money on these cards are not up to par. They need to update this. They need to update this. It's not that serious. It's a whole bunch of skips and for 20 bucks. (laughs) Ooh, this is a good one. Got a lot in your hand there. I don't know. It's only I'm one like, question. We all need yeah, one, I know, but I need question. a good. We need to end on a bang. If this is my last <laughs> question, I was like, I feel like we have uh, a lot she, of bangs around yeah, along right? the way. <laughs> okay, while you're searching, I'm gonna ask. All right, go ahead. Ask my question. In the event of a zombie apocalypse, here we go. I'm would ready. you sacrifice everyone here to save yourself? Mm, mm, mm. We gonna learn today what type of person you are. What you doing? <laughs> Do you guys have kids and stuff like that? Or no, no, just good. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids? How many kids you have? Two. How old? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer the question She's honestly. Analyzing. Yeah, I need to know the people, you know, I need to get a little bit of information. You need to know the people you're trying to yeah, save. Yeah, that's what I'm right saying. Now. I'm like, I don't want to die in vain. <laughs> so, like, like how, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's like, 22. <laughs> that ain't long enough. Uh, that ain't long enough uh, to, like, 10 and 15. Uh, you know, I got a plethora of you got, kids, yeah, so. you got You got a life. 10 or 15. They got any dreams? <laughs> <laughs> what do they want to do? <laughs> what they want to be? They have aspirations. Uh, uh, my 15-year-old ain't shit. <laughs> 10-year-old don't do nothing. Da, da, da. Then I'm like, okay. Do they, do they uh, what kind of grades they get? <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm like, uh, are they tell me what you got to live for? Yeah, what else you shit, got? You I got, got a lot to live for. I got businesses, I got men, I got my my um uh, my family, my dad. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 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 I got uh, my kids. I got, three I got my puppy Frenches that I got my need Frenchies. Me. Yeah, yeah, I, got I got my charities. I, I got, I'm helping uh, people uh, along the way. I don't yeah, just got my right. people. I'm a whelper. I'm whelping like, these dogs oh, trying to man, help them I'm out. I'm a whelper. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I got. I'm like. <laughs> I got a lot of lives and animals to save here. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just trying to. Are you selfish? I'm not are you self- humanitarian. <sighs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> Yo, don't try to hit me with this <laughs> shit. I'm gonna walk out. Don't try to. Don't try to make me feel you bad. You said you got oh, faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much faith do you really <laughs> got? <laughs> What are you, you a doing? believer? You know, he's the right. one that told oh, me. Here we go. He told me no, to no, do no, this, no. right? He told me to uh, be uh, like, "Are you sure?" Uh, uh. Mm. WWJD. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want this? Y'all something else. You know that? Y'all something else. Ooh. You know what? Let go uh. and let God make the decision. So wait, what's the question again? What's the question again? Run it back. Would I in the event of a, of a zombie, zo- okay. zombie apocalypse, would you sacrifice everyone uh. here? That's not just here in this room. That's here at Dash. So you got the owner of Dash, um, you got the okay, workers okay, of Dash, okay, okay. you got the people at the cars and coffee shop. You got the guests that are coming up. It's not just the people that are watching hey, this episode that right now. Don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. You can name everybody that walked through here. If I don't know your name, then it's like you pretty much, free I game. don't give a damn but, if you but, or not. Uh, or save yourself. You know, Jesus it's a did zombie die. Zombie apocalypse. To save everybody. You know what? I would I would uh <laughs> Think long and hard, cause they gonna judge. <laughs> <laughs> now look at you. He you know did what? it to me. No. 
<laughs> he did it to me. <laughs> no. Mm. It's called karma. <laughs> no, and it could no. be a bitch. Y'all setting me up right now, huh? <laughs> Uh, he said, "Okay, Ooh. just don't touch him." Yeah, I'm, Not you know hard. what? I'm gonna sacrifice myself and be a hero. Come on, I think you that's got the your, right. Uh, look, look, I'm gonna do him like he did. That's the right thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on the right answer. <laughs> but what would you really do? <laughs> <laughs> what you think? Oh, y'all gonna be so. <laughs> Oh, y'all about to be zombies. Y'all about to join the team. Said, oh, y'all about, oh, about to be zombies. Whoa. I cannot. You can you say, what is that? Zombie, shut the door. Zombie, shut the door. Oh, y'all be zombies. I uh, cannot. Uh, hey, what? I cannot. Y'all should have had better stories. <laughs> See? Uh, she ever talking about her business. You Hell don't even yeah. want to tell me. I'm talking, okay. You ever hear your kids. Is, we it's saving 10, people 10, with cancer. Yeah. We helping people with autism. No, yeah, you better like, not. I need now. something more personal. Like that is personal. I, I'm saying, but like I, I got kids. That's not personal. Look, if, if I, I wanted to, but look, if I wanted person. to say my, I'd be like, listen, I've always had dreams. <laughs> like I'm, I want to give your you like, dreams in comparison to everybody else's life. Okay, let me ask no you a question. No shade to your dreams. Kill everybody in here. <laughs> oh no no. The same question that you asked me. <laughs> it's well, not my question. I already know I'm a zombie question. with Joe ass. <laughs> These, I already know. I already know we a zombie with Joe ass. But with Joe, I'm still kind of like. Ah! <laughs> Why well, I gotta be? Well, my I gotta camera be guy like... is cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He chilling. <laughs> Why well, I gotta be the person yeah, to just yeah, kill yeah, everybody off and save myself? My camera guy cool. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like. <laughs> so he uh, bet not cool because he got that camera. Cool. What she do to cool. you? Yvette is cool, but I just... She got kids. He would don't. Would you kill us, Yvette? Will we be zombies? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. See, that's the reason why I I was I was, I was was hesitant to sacrifice myself because I was seeing who would, who would sacrifice themselves for me, and I saw no one. Which you said. Not one person I, in this. I looked at everybody's eyes, and everybody did the same thing. They was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. Mm -mm -mm. But you a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus you. would not. I'm telling you. What would you do? What Jesus would do. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. My you would come okay. up with a great excuse. Here, here's, here's my I thing. I have three businesses. I just can't. Here, I got to close the door. Here's my thing. Here's my close thing. Close the door. Every, a zombie apocalypse, we all turn into zombies anyway, right? It's a zombie apocalypse. We all turn into nah, zombies. Nah, you can live either, and make a either. difference. You've seen I Am Legend. Maybe there's a... <laughs> but what happiness would it be in life if you are the only living person and everybody else is zombie? Where what happened? Like I am I not. Will, I'm hey, sorry, I'm not living. I am legend. Anybody, wife, if anybody, and I'm by hey, myself, like hey guys, in life, and I'm if like, that's the case, yeah. everybody should just jump out in front of the zombies and die. Don't even try <laughs> to survive. That's what you say. Now, if there's if there's more people out here whoa, in this whoa, world, whoa, whoa, whoa. but it says everyone here, like everyone, there might be a safe place. But it's everyone. You, it doesn't say there's a safe place. Even the fly will fight for its life. There's You're a remixing safe place. the card now. No, I'm saying <laughs> you up here. <laughs> you giving an excuse to die, and I'm like, mm. I'm 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 sticking with the Lord in His name, Amen. The right thing to say. That's the right <laughs> thing to say. You know, you know. Hey, you was All right, what are we this. ending with? Your card. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, that was a tough one. What would y'all do? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, you do? I know. It's like, I prepared for this. You're saving yourself. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. Uh, it's the quiet ones you got to watch out for. I feel like I'll end the night, so I'm not going to sacrifice That's what I'm saying. Like, we all turn into okay. zombies, so I we might as do. well let more people live. I feel like I would try. Yeah, That's I feel like we would all try would live. definitely yeah. try. We, you would try to live. Yeah, we would all try, but I feel like we, we all gonna be zombies. Yeah, and and on top of that, I just feel like nobody wants to be. Not like you're like here, make me a zombie. Like okay, I, I got a good one. We're gonna do this quick. So this right here is my remix. It's the bad choices rapid fire. So like <laughs> what? So like <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, rapid fire. So okay, like we are on we, the Norman Town show <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now. Clearly, we got the rapid fire. So I'm gonna ask her the question, and she's gonna say the first one that 
comes to her head and then it's just gonna go to the next because these ones you really can't go deep in with so All right. ready have you ever stayed in a relationship just for the sex no <laughs> would you have would you have sex with your cousin for five for fifty thousand no, dollars you don't have to finish the amount <laughs> have you ever had a friend with benefits that gears towards a relationship. Nah, friends with benefits. <laughs> no. No. All right. By Would the time, you by the time we're having sex, you my man. <laughs> That's fact. All right. Would you ever take <laughs> life advice from a psychic? Um Yep. Okay. <laughs> It's not. It, hey, it's easy for her I, to say no. <laughs> the yes is is, is a little I, tough. It depends. I wouldn't take the advice. I, I would more so like, like put it in the back. It's like there, you know. Like I hear you, but I'm still live my life. So have, I don't know what. Okay. How you so put yeah. It down. Okay. So yeah. Have you ever fooled a, or have you ever had sex on your parents' bed? No. Yeah. Do you think you're the most attractive person in the room? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Would you drink a cup of human blood for five grand? No. Do you think you're the smartest person in the room? No. Okay. I think Mac is. There you go, Mac. I might be the bit more bit the more most business savvy in the room, but Mac is pretty damn smart. Man, I need more money on these cars. A lot of these are money cars, but it's not like. Okay, how about rapid fire okay. for you now? Since you did ah, rapid fire for me. No. Same question. Hey, whoa, you can't do Same that. Question. No, 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 right, no. Right. No, 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 Have no. Have you ever stayed in a relationship uh, for just sex? If it's leading towards sex, or if, if I said it, quick. If, if, I said it, quick. I'm gonna say all yours. Okay, hold on, hold on. You gotta do the, the different ones. They can't be the same because uh, I had time to think about it. Okay, that's what, what makes it so fun. Is like okay, I didn't even get a chance right, to like rapid questions. Like I was like, whoa. I'm gonna give you all right. Have you ever accepted a late night booty call? Yes. Do you complain a lot about first world problems? No. Have you ever had sex in a bathroom? Yes. Have you ever created a fake social media account to spy on someone? No. Lies. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Would you amputate hey. one of your fingers for half a million dollars? Yes. No, no way. <laughs> half a million. <laughs> I heard a million. Just one finger, I do Half it. of a finger for half a million? One finger for half a million. I do it. It's just one one finger. You can still write, draw. You're good. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had sex with a bartender? A bartender? Like she does like a Yeah, I get yeah, she like a lot of That's a yes, because he's over yeah. here questioning it. All right, let them know what you want to tell them, what you got going on. Hey, I feel like they know hey, you more than I'm, enough. Okay, I'm going to tell you and guys. More, me more than enough. I'm going to tell you guys something. If you guys are ever in a zombie apocalypse with Telly, Bro, just make sure you save yourself because all, Telly is surviving. First of all, I didn't even answer that. He gave what? me my answer. Uh, no. He gave me so what he would all do. <laughs> Not what I would do. I said I would do what Jesus would do. He the one that it is not gonna so sacrifice good. itself on a cross. Everything sounds so like to save us. She'll say the right things at the right times. This was no. Nah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Thank you. So I had such he. a good time. So I'm Norman. He. I appreciate it. I hope there's audio. I hope you guys can hear me because this is great. And <laughs> we might have to come back and do this again. But other than that, this was amazing. <laughs> I had such a good time. <laughs> Y'all tune in to All Things Norman Town. <laughs> his, sh his show <laughs> on uh, AMC Lace, yep, yep, second Lace, season second coming season. out soon. Uh -huh. He is clearly a comedian nah, before I'm anything serious. else because we had an amazing, hilarious episode, and that is it for Telly Talks. Thanks, had such a good time. <laughs> <laughs>